What is going on guys, Ben here, bringing you another Pokemon Go video. In today's video, we're bringing you part two of my rarest catches ever. Um, so these are all compiled from my like two months of playing Pokemon Go. You guys saw the part one, if you did not, that'll be in the description below. But we are coming to you from a hotel room in Milwaukee because uh, today we were at Lake Park and tomorrow we'll be at Lake Park again. You'll see those videos the following days um, when I finally get to posting those and editing those. But yeah, that's why the quality may not be the best. I'm using my Mac as my mic or, or not my mic, my uh, face cam and everything like that. So I hope you guys can understand that. But still, the catches are going to be amazing. Uh, the second half, I think, is better than the first one. But you guys, I have to say, have been amazing with the support on the channel. I met a lot of you guys. If you are, if you saw me today, um, which is Saturday, I met a lot of you guys today. So if you guys, uh, shout out to you guys. It was crazy. Um, I'm really excited to bring out the video from Lake Park. Um, you'll see two of those back to back. Um, it is kind of late in the hotel room, uh, so I do want to try and keep it down a little bit. Uh, I don't want to be that person. But yeah, the first catch of the day is the Dragonair. Uh, if you guys have never seen my channel before, basically all these catches that you're seeing are from gameplay, like or from videos that you've saw in the past of me either going to Nina, Lake Park. Some of these will be from Seattle. Um, but right here we have this Arcanine 1659. I think this one was from Lake Park. Um, if you guys do not know the parks that I go to, it's Lake Park in Milwaukee, Wisconsin is one of the main ones. Um, but yeah, a lot of you, like, I got a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but some of you saying, like, in my last video where I did this ultimate, uh, ultra rare catches, it was like, they're like, oh, Ben, you're a hacker or whatever. No, I just watch the other videos, and you'll see all these catches are from my previous videos, and I literally go to these parks all the time, and for my fans out there, just let them know, you guys know what's up. Um... But alright guys, this Arcanine um, isn't the strongest. I definitely have a lot more stronger ones that I've evolved. Um, I do want to say this on a side note. My A lot of you already know that I completed my Pokedex. And I get asked this all the time. Like, I got asked this a few times. Like, what, what am I going to do now that pretty much the game is over? Well, not game. it's not that the game is not over. But like, since I've completed my Pokedex, well, that's the main accomplishment for a lot of people. Um, for me, I just love catching rare things, as you can probably tell by these videos, and I go to the places, even if they're like a two-hour drive or whatever, to get there to catch the stuff, um, because they make for great videos, and it's just, the adrenaline rush catching those is awesome. Uh, so that's the reason why, that's like my, probably my favorite thing to do in Pokemon Go, and that's why I love it so much, because it's like, you have to get lucky, and basically it's just like, when it does, when you finally do get like the rare thing, um, it's just, I don't know, and then with the atmosphere around, like, some of the places that I go to, there's just so many people, and it just adds to it. But right here, Electabuzz, not the most rarest of catches, but it was still a really strong one, so that's why we threw it in here. 1623, um, right into, we're going right into the next one, we got a Tangela. I asked this on the last video, um, and I'm gonna ask it on this one. What do you guys think is, like, the rarest Pokemon? I've read the comments from the last, from a lot of you. A lot of you said the Dragonite is actually not the rarest. Um, I've heard... A few of you say the Charizard is probably one of the rarest, which I do agree with. Charizard and Venusaurs, you don't really see that often. I mean, you see the Blastoise quite a bit. Um, the example of that, like a lot of them spawn today. Uh, you, I've only ever saw one Charizard, one Venusaur. I don't really know what was up with my ball throw. Oh, I'm fast forwarding some of these clips as well. Um, otherwise, it would make for a 40 minute video, but I fast forwarded a lot of clips and everything like that. Um, but yeah, guys, so. I don't know. I think Charizard is probably up there because you guys had some valid points that Dragonites do spawn pretty frequently compared to some of the other ones. Um, but honestly, it might just depend on where you live because a lot of you probably have never even seen a Dragonite. I myself have only saw one um, or had the opportunity to catch one. And then same with the Charizard and same with the Venusaur. But hopefully that'll change. But right here, we got a Nidoking. I've only ever seen two of these. Uh, this <laughs> and this one's pretty strong. It's 1,602. Um, I'm still waiting on a Snorlax. That's like a really high CP. Whether I hatch that from an egg, catch it in the wild, I don't really care. I just want one of them. Because I think the strongest one that I have is like 1,200 or 1,000 or something. So pretty bummed about that. But I want to get a strong one. Same with the Lapras. I want to get a really, really strong Lapras. Uh, just for gym defenders, but I, I just cannot seem to find them. I found them once at Lake Park, but that may be in this video. I'm not entirely sure. But there we go. We got the Nidoking. Uh, the Ultra Ball, Great Ball situation, I think, 
I've made up my mind what I'm going to do with it. Um, but right here we have a Dragonair, 169. If it's a, well, it's probably much common sense or whatever you want to, like, whatever you want to feel about it. But if, like, if it's not a super high CP, but it is a rare Pokemon, I'm pretty much still going to Great Ball it. Um, if it's something I'm, I'm prioritized getting at that time, because that always changes, I may Ultra Ball it. Um, but if it's any of the big three starters, going to Ultra Ball them. If it's a Dragonite, going to Ultra Ball it. If it's, like, a Snorlax, Lapras, you know, all that good stuff, we'll Ultra Ball it. Or anything I see fit that's, like, a super high CP. Um, other than that, I'm gonna stick to Great Balls and everything, um, because I, I don't know, like, I don't I don't want to be put in the position where I run out of Ultra Balls or Great Balls, but I've been just rambling on. For those of you that have been subscribed to the channel, I know I mentioned this in the last video, a lot of times I just ramble on in my videos, <laughs> um, if I, if it's like pre-recorded stuff, I just talk about random things and have some nice gameplay in the background. If you guys don't like that, I apologize, you don't really have to watch, but if you do, that's typically what I do, like, if it's a, a topic I'm covering or anything like it's pre-recorded gameplay that I'm showing you guys, then I tend to ramble and just talk whatever. Uh, but right here though, the Dragonair. Dragonairs aren't the, mo the rarest of Pokemon, but this one right here is the Dragonite. This is the one I've only ever seen one of. Um, and I can't, for whatever reason, on some Pokemon, I cannot get the curveball farther there. I don't think it's because I'm a terrible thrower. Um, it's just like for some of them, I just cannot get the the, the curveball there. So what I'll do instead, instead of wasting a million balls trying to get it there, is just go for like excellent tosses and great tosses by throwing it normal, and I know I can get it to the Pokemon. Um, especially in this situation here, my phone was really really laggy. As you can see on the top left, that white Pokeball spinning. Um, for whatever reason, it seems like sometimes um, whenever I get a really rare Pokemon or something that's just big, like Venusaur, this happened, some Blastoise, this happened, it just seems that that spins. So I don't want to risk it with an Ultra Ball, and every ball that I throw might risk me getting like a, another laggy situation or whatever. So that's why I, was, I don't really Ultra Ball the big stuff, but the Dragonite here was probably the highlight of my Pokemon Go career, because this one's 2,314. I was so pumped. A lot of you guys remember this video. Uh, oh my goodness. And we actually caught it right there. Uh, the Dragonite, man, that's definitely your top one. Or my top one uh, catch right there for sure. What's your guys' number one catch? Uh, I don't know. And then right up here, this is the Venusaur I was talking about. This is also at Lake Park. This is where I get a majority of these the big, big catches. This one is only 648. Uh, I think from now on, um, in this in this clip here, I, I since I only had 21 Ultra Balls, I don't know if I Ultra Ball it or not, but I'm pretty sure I use Great Balls, but from any, any third starter guys, I'm just going to make the, the pack to you guys. I will Ultra Ball it if I have the Ultra Balls available, um, because they're just so rare to find and you kind of want to catch them, so I think that's what I ended up doing. We, I've started off using Ultra Balls, but I, can't, I couldn't, it was, I was having trouble like, curveballing it there, um, and you can see... Every so often, it'll lag when I... Well, actually, no. It's not, this one's not too bad, actually. The Venusaur is fine. Um, but right there, you can see it starts to... This is fast-forwarded, by the way, so it's not as... Because when you're sitting there trying to catch it, the worst thing, the last thing you want to do is your phone to freeze, and you have to restart. And if it's a lure spawn... Um, funny enough, that was a text message about a lure spawn. <laughs> um, the worst thing you want is, like, your phone to freeze, and you have to restart. And then it's just crazy. But, yeah, we got the Venusaur here. But... He keeps giving me trouble. I could have switched back to my Ultra Balls, but I only had 21 at this moment in time. And I was like, you know what? I got to prioritize. It's not a super high Venusaur. This is actually the only Venusaur I have ever saw in my life. Uh, and hopefully we can see one sometime. But right here, it, it, like, lagged a little bit. Um, I thought he was going to flee right after that, but he actually did not. So, stuck around for a while. Ate a lot of my Pokeballs. But you can see the white Pokeball. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. My phone's going to freeze. But I couldn't, like restart my phone because it would have despawned already by the time I was catching again but yeah it just got really really leggy here and I was I was like oh no oh no my phone's gonna freeze I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to catch this thing I'll get my last great ball there and it just instant breaks out and then it's still continuing on um, a lot of you already remember when I tried to catch this here uh, it's it's gonna it's it's not gonna end well for me right here just poof flees me uh, so that was one of the sadder, sadder moments because um, I've had a bunch of Blastoise flee me, but Blastoise I have a bunch of, so I don't mind. But Venusaur, I've actually, I've only ever, I only have one Venusaur right now, and it's the one I evolved. So I was kind of sad about that one. But right here, I'm a champ right after that to make up for it. Uh, honestly, I've only ever seen one Machamp in the wild, and they take they take quite a long to get them, so or quite a long time to evolve them. But 
I don't know. I now have seen every three third starter evolution. So Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise. I've seen multiple numbers of Blastoises. Charizard's still the only one. That Venusaur only the one. But I hope, I hope to get more Dragonites um, in the wild. I'm, I'm just gonna, sp I'm gonna spoil this a little bit. Um, for today, I actually missed two Dragonites. Um, not even, not even attempted to catch them. They just spawned, and I wasn't at the park at the time. Uh, so that's kind of a little let down. But tomorrow, hopefully, they do spawn. We got a Charmeleon here, 712. I think the starters, the second evolution of the starters, are also really, really rare. You guys may disagree. But I don't see too many of them. They're not as rare, definitely, as like the third evolutions of them. But they're still really, really cool to try and catch. Now, there is a kind of little thing with these starters. Um, if you catch them in the wild, they almost never have a good IV. If you guys, if you're not into IVs, um, we'll give you a little rundown. Basically, it's just like the hidden stats of a Pokemon that determine how well it will evolve and stuff. But we got the Charmeleon there. Got the Scyther. Um, right after that, um, but yeah, if you catch them in the wild, I typically you shouldn't evolve it unless it has a really good CP because it's not going to have a good IV. Um, if you hatch them from that, you want to hatch them from eggs basically. You want to hatch starters from eggs so they have a better IV, which means better stats, so they evolve better when you evolve them. But right here, the, star the Scyther is giving me a little trouble. A lot of you may not think Scythers are rare. I don't think they're too rare, but I do think you should start trying to prioritize catching them because. The scissors, when he comes out um, for Gen 2, a Gen 2 may be far off, doesn't matter, but you still want to save up the candies for Scyther because Scyther is going to be a monster. Um, or Scissors is going to be a monster when you ever evolve them because, like, catching 1500 Scythers or 1600 Scythers is awesome. Uh, the Chansey here, I don't, I think I accidentally might have slowed down this clip to try and catch it, not fast forwarded. I don't know if it was this laggy, but <laughs> the Chansey here, I think I've only ever used. Pretty sure I've seen three chances now. Um, never found the high CP one. They do have the like highest base ratio to CP in the game, but sadly they're not super super strong. At least they're easy to catch. So I know a lot of you are probably still looking for the chances, but we caught this one. Not no 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 big deal there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I might have slowed down that clip on accident. I apologize, but whatever. Caught the chancy. Nah, this one is probably one of the coolest catches I ever got. A Gengar. Uh, a lot of people's favorite Pokemon. Hear it all the time. Because in the game, I don't know, he's just so awesome. And like, you had to trade him back and forth to evolve him. Uh, and I just love doing like the Dream Eater or, or Hypnosis, Dream Eater or Nightmare or whatever. Just destroy them all. Uh, Dream Eater was nice because you got your HP back. But caught this, caught this uh, Gengar. I was going to say Haunter. Caught this Gengar with very little effort and it was awesome he's not the best cp but still a gengar in the wild like how often do you see that um and same with his nidoqueen i've only seen one or saw one nidoqueen which is this one and then i've saw two two of the Nido kings but which one do you guys think is better i think the nidoqueen is actually better um I'm, i think she has a little bit more cp i'm not entirely sure which is or we're not cp hp um, which is kind of what you want for defending gyms and everything like that, but either way, this one does give me a little bit of trouble, and it flees there. Uh, actually, I didn't even catch the Nidoqueen. I forgot. It fled me. So, yeah, I never caught a Nidoqueen in the wild. Nidoqueen in the wild. It fled me, but <laughs> well, this one right here is probably another one of the most memorable catches. So, my top three memorable catches are the Dragonite, the Charizard, Charizard because it was the first one you guys saw that in the last video. The Dragonite was in this one. And this Blastoise, just because it was so crappy. <laughs> CP99, like, why is that even a Pokemon? Is it there just to troll you? And it's still amazingly hard to catch. Like, this one was actually at Nina. The first time I ever saw, like, a big, huge spawn at Nina. Um, I reference these parks all the time, guys, because of, they're the ones that I go to if you're new to my channel. Um, but, yeah, like, I've never saw anything this big. Well, not it's technically not big, but it is because it's a third evolution. But I've switched to the Ultra Ball. We caught him. Um, CP99, so that's a good, like, kind of, like, gem to maybe we troll some gems if I just want to throw a Blastoise in there. That's CP99, CP99, but whatever. Um, this one was Arcanine that I was actually trying to catch while I was streaming. You can see the M on the top of the screen. That stands for Mop Crush. Uh, for those of you guys that want to go follow that, basically it's in the link in the description below. And what it is, is it allows me to stream while I'm playing Pokemon Go 
um, just out and while out and about because a lot of times I'll just be streaming instead of recording videos. Um, if you don't know what streaming is, it's just live streaming where I'm playing the game live. You can interact on chat and stuff like that. So that's what it is, playing live and everything. And I keep touching my nose because my nose is getting runny. Hopefully I'm not getting sick. Uh, but yeah, we got the Arcanine. That's two Arcanines in this video. This one knows Bulldoze, probably the worst move. But right, that's the third Arcanine in the video here. This one is eight, 1,888. Uh, Arcanines, I don't know. I don't think they're super rare in the wild, but they're still cool to catch. Um, everyone wants an Arcanine because, like, their, their CP multipliers are insane. They're really good gym defenders. Uh, for in some places of the world, they're really common to find Growlithe and stuff, but around where I live, they're not super common, but they're really cool to catch. So we actually did switch to Ultra Ball for this one just because of its high CP. My... My ball throwing is not very good there. I couldn't get to it. We did get the excellent toss on him. Sadly, it was not enough to catch him. But you can see I have like very little Ultra Balls. I think I showed I had 10, but the, this, yeah, let's see. I can't even see. Nine Ultra Balls right there. Uh, so I kind of just was like, you know what? I can't risk it. What if like a Dragonite spawns or something? Kind of save the Ultra Balls. Uh, <laughs> that's how I get. Like if I only have a couple, I wait till it's like a Mega Spawn and. The, the term Mega can be used in whatever, but I think like Dragon Knight, Lapras, Snorlax, uh, any of the third evolutions, I guess now. Um, I changed my mindset on those, but yeah, that's what I consider Mega. Uh, well, guys, this Arcanine giving me troubles. We got the last Great Ball, a great toss with the Great Ball. Always seems to catch him. Well, not always, but that's what I like to think. So we got him. This guy knows Bulldoze once again, so sadly. Not the best, but it does no fire fang. Uh, this one right here is probably one of the, this is gonna be the last catch in the video though. This one was at Nina in the city, the Porygon. I've only ever seen two um, up into this video, Porygons in the wild, but I don't know. Porygons are still really, really cool to catch. Like, just, they're not even really Pokemons, they're just machines. But they're still, I think they're just cool to just look at. They're not the strongest. I think in Gen 2 they do evolve into like, I don't even remember the name, uh, but I don't know, they're just cool to look at, but guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if I seemed a little tired, because I am, we had a long day at Lake Park running back and forth, um, and I had to, I wanted to get this video for you guys though, and I hope you guys enjoyed it though, make sure you did it, and don't subscribe for more Pokemon Go videos if you have not already, hope you guys have a wonderful day tonight, and I'll see you guys later.